Welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies, starring Steve Hayes. Now, let's go see Steve. <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> Bye! Old Queen of the Movies. Johnny, for Halloween I've chosen a monster double feature from the Universal Classic Horror Collection. The first one is from 1931. Todd Browning's Dracula, starring Bela Lugosi as Count Dracula. And the second one is from 1941, The Wolfman, starring Lon Chaney Jr. Now, Dracula was based on a Broadway hit, and Bela Lugosi had done it. And much like the Twilight crowd and the True Blood crowd today, he was very, very popular with the women. He was treated like a sex symbol on Broadway when he did Dracula. So they thought, well, this is going to be great. We'll bring him out. Well, they took him to Hollywood. And of course, when you make a movie, a lot of times things are much more realistic. And even though they had a very Baroque setting, it was, a, it was a little bit more real than it was on the Broadway stage, and people got a little bit more scared than they did when he was on Broadway. <laughs> Romantic side of it sort of faded away, and the monster side of it came forward. Bela Lugosi was a consummate actor. He had this part in his bones. I am... Dracula. It was his great part, and it was like, uh, he approached it like a great Shakespearean actor. Listen to them, children of the night. What music they make. I used to say that Bela Lugosi was like a pincher actor. He had all these uh, spaces between his lines. Like at one point, uh, the guy who plays Dwight Fry, who plays Mr. Renfield, says, uh, aren't you going to have any wine, Count Dracula? And Bela Lugosi says, I never drink wine. Good night. Mr. Renfield. The movie has wonderful character actors in it. Dwight Fry, who plays Renfield, became famous for his... <laughs> they lock him up after he becomes a vampire because he keeps eating flies and spiders. And this uh, cockney guard will say, Oh, here comes the old fly eater. Mr. Renfield, we're going to give you flies. I don't want flies. Not when I can get spiders. Rats. <laughs> <laughs> and the women, it's very, very 30s. This was early into talkies. Helen Chandler, who plays the, you know, the heroine, you know, Dracula keeps coming and biting her night after night after night, lures her out to the garden. You know, he Bella has those, those eyes and he lures her out to the garden and he bites her. And Helen Chandler keeps saying, oh, darling, please don't come near me. I don't feel well. I've got holes in my neck, you know. He <laughs> wasn't the guy to say, well, you know, that's why, because you're walking in the garden. You've got holes in your neck. No wonder you're not feeling good. And <laughs> he takes her and he's going to turn her into a vampire. And it all gets very, 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 very convoluted. And then they have to do the drive the stake through the heart thing. Oh, no, don't. Don't kill me. Let me live, please. Punish me, torture me, but let me live. But the initial starkness of this movie is not to be believed. It's really, really, really eerie. Now we come to 10 years later and The Wolfman. By this time, Universal had really seen that these movies, monster movies, could be money makers. So when they went to do The Wolfman, poor Lon Chaney had to sit in Jack Pierce's makeup chair for six hours while they glued yak hair to make him become this werewolf and they use this process of photographing every other every other stage of it and then superimposing it so that he would turn into this werewolf <laughs> His father in this movie is, all the other people in this movie, a lot of them are British. His father's played by Claude Rains. And, Laddie, Laddie, I want you to take over uh, the estate, son. That's why I've had you come back. And, of course, Lon Chaney is very West and he'll say, but you don't understand, father. I'm a werewolf, you know. <laughs> what is this story about a man turning into a wolf? You mean the werewolf? Yes, sir. Also in this movie is Maria Uspinskaya, who plays Maliva, the old gypsy woman who knows about the curse because her son... Bella Lugosi, ironically, was the first wolfman who bit Lon Chaney. So she'll say to him, my son Bella <coughs> was a wolf. You are going to turn me into a werewolf. Oh, I'm sick of the whole thing. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, yeah, but 
is bitten by a werewolf and lives, becomes a werewolf himself. Oh. And he steps in front of the mirror and he changes. And his changing is one of the classic things in horror films. People still talk about this. He starts looking at his hands and they get gnarled. And then all of a sudden he looks in the mirror and it starts. The Wolfman. For the true blood and the twilight crowd, a little vampire, a little vampire, he got a little joyous just then, just a little. The popcorn can't be beat. 